Asteroids. Scientists believe an asteroid struck the Earth 65 million years ago, wiping out the dinosaurs and 70% of all plants and animals. In modern times, a rock hurtling from outer space destroyed a Siberian forest in 1908 and just last year blasted the city of Chelyabinsk, Russia. Until now, scientists have been unable to predict or prevent asteroids from hitting Earth. But the B612 Foundation aims to change that with the Sentinel mission. This is a crucial mission because up until this point, we haven't had the capability to either find all of these asteroids or to deflect them. Led by Ed Liu, the B612 Foundation is a group of scientists, engineers, and astronauts who want to save the world from asteroid impacts. The B612 Foundation was named after the asteroid home of the Little Prince uh, from the, the novel by Antoine Saint-Exupéry. Now, the Little Prince lived on this asteroid called B612, and the Little Prince was always amazed in his interactions with adults and how they, adults fa often failed to see what the most important thing was. And the lesson for this is that there is an obvious point out there that if we are hit by a large asteroid, what else matters? We feel a certain urgency to get on with it so that we can be confident that we're not going to have a cosmic disaster here uh, for no good justifiable reason just because we didn't get with it. So let's get with it. That's the name of the game. In 2011, when B612 decided to pursue the Sentinel mission, they quickly determined there was only one company they wanted for their partner. We realized that there was really only one organization capable of building this spacecraft, building Sentinel and carrying out this mission, and that was Ball. I see this as a wave of the future. Uh, the ability for non-governmental organizations to put together the funding, working with outstanding technical organizations like Ball Aerospace and produce space missions where the government isn't involved and where the price is much, much less and we still get the same kind of great information. The Sentinel concept has created such a buzz in the space community that the popular television science show Nova visited Colorado to interview Ball Sentinel program manager John Trulsch. So Sentinel is coming at the right point in time. We've developed a lot of technologies over the last 20 years in detectors, in uh, telecommunication systems, in spacecraft, in solar power. All these things are coming together today to help produce the Sentinel spacecraft. Sentinel's most important technology is its infrared detector. This will find the smaller asteroids that most worry scientists by searching for the heat they emit. Asteroids are very hard to see against a dark background in deep space. Here's a piece of a meteorite, same composition as an asteroid, really hard to see in visible light. However, when I take my infrared camera, wow, it shows right up, and I can see it clearly against the background. This is the advantage that Sentinel has for infrared detection of asteroids. Ball's infrared and flight-proven deep space systems and space-based telescopes like Spitzer and Kepler turn the impossible into the possible. And now that it's possible, it becomes an imperative. It's our responsibility to do something to protect this Earth because our very existence on this planet depends upon it. Our design for Sentinel is designed to find 90% of the 140 meter or larger asteroids that might threaten the Earth. The things that can really destroy large areas of a continent um, really do major damage. In 2013, B612 began raising the $450 million needed to build and operate Sentinel over 10 years. Ball Aerospace, you're the right size doing the right things. And that's why I like working with you so much. Ball is working with B612 under contracting terms developed for the successful fixed price Digital Globe Worldview satellites. While this is incredibly difficult, this is after all an infrared space telescope orbiting the sun, um, we have the people that can do it. We have the very best people in the world. When the B612 Ball Aerospace Sentinel mission launches in 2018, it will provide a unique opportunity for the public to take ownership in an historic space mission. Pulling the non-governmental investment together with Ball's willingness to do this on a firm fixed price contract, a small team, some of the best people in the world acting as advisors, that whole mix is something that I couldn't have done when I was with NASA. And now, with this team, 
I think we're seeing a new effort, a new way of exploring space, and to me that's, uh, that's just really terrific. It's very exciting. Ball Aerospace and B612, extending the commercial spaceflight industry into deep space to enhance our stewardship of planet Earth.